Hey, friend, I'm Arbaz here. Welcome back to some more XCOM enemy within the long war. So, when we last left off, we had the alien abductions mission. We are about to finish the alien grenades project. I think I can afford to get the alien grenades before I do the abductions. It's a little bit risky though. Still, that would help. Let's do it. Okay, we got alien grenades and the mission is still there. Great. Let's do it then. Actually, there's one thing that I could really use right now, but I just don't have enough money for it. And that's regimental officers. I would need to get over 450 credits for that right now. We need the 90 credits from this mission. And then we'll still need to sell some crap to get enough money to do anything. Anyway, let's clear all of this and see what squad we're going to bring. Also, I, I had that one rookie that I didn't use a promotion on. I'm going to promote her to a medic. Because ultimately I can live without engineers, but I don't want to run out of medics. So she will be a medic. She can join this mission, that's fine. Alright, who's going to be our officer for this mission? Let's see. Who's that going to be? Sebastian? We also have Conrad available. We have Sam. Marcos. We could bring Sebastian to this one. We have quite a few good gunners. So, alright, he can join. Next. We're going to need a scout. That's for sure. Not Bella, since we already have an officer. So, that's the scout. We got gunner, medic, scout. Assault wouldn't be a bad idea. But I don't have a non-fatigued assault. Other than Carrie, but I want to keep her for a harder mission. We could bring a rocketeer. Alright, let's bring a rocketeer. Next. Some infantry would be useful. So she can come. We have three more slots. I'll use one slot for a rookie. Just to keep training them. We still have some decent rookies. Let's see. We have a rookie with 70 aim. Also with 68, 67... 66 aim and 4 hit points. Yes, I like that. Two more slots. We got a medic already, we got a scout. So maybe an engineer. With some alien grenades. Now that we actually have alien grenades, I suppose I could bring Jeff. Yeah? Alright, Jeff, you're coming. One more slot. Sniper? Okay, let's bring a sniper. We got the laser sniper rifle, so this is actually a pretty good idea. Right, now we need proper weapons on everyone. Let's see. Make items available. No assault in here, so we can't use the scatter laser. Let's start from Sebastian. Gatling laser, I don't think he needs phalanx armor. Although... 7 hit points only. Not great. This will be fine. No scope for you. We still only have one scope. I am making one more, but it will take a while. A laser sight and a smoke grenade. That's fine. We need med kits on our medic. So let's maybe do that real quick. That's a no-brainer. Sword of shotgun, laser rifle. She can keep phalanx armor, that's fine. We might bring an arc thrower, just in case we'll get a chance. To capture some alien, which maybe we will. You can grab the arc thrower. Also phalanx armor. No sword of shotgun, because I want to keep the mobility. Her mobility is kind of low, but yeah, she's the scout. She can grab the alloy plating, just to keep her alive. That's 9 hit points. 9 hit points is still kind of low against enemies like mutants. But this is the highest that I can possibly get right now on her. Okay, our Rocketeer needs better gear. Do we have a spare scope? We do, but only one. I think I'll use that scope on infantry instead. So she can grab laser sight. And I don't think she needs phalanx armor. Now infantry. That's going to be heavy laser rifle, scope. Oh no, we do have two scopes. What am I talking about? So she can actually grab a scope. Right. That's much better. Good aim. 
Who else? We got Jeff. So Jeff is going to grab alien grenades. That's a no-brainer, I think. That's four alien grenades. Laser rifle as usual. Phalanx armor and maybe it's sort of shotgun. We also got the rookie. She can grab the phalanx armor. And laser sight. As well as flashbang grenade. I don't think she needs laser sight all that much. Maybe two flashbang grenades. I don't have that many flashbang grenades here. Actually, ceramic plating is a bit of a waste on a sniper. Laser sight. Flashbang grenade is a bit of a waste on a sniper as well. Smoke grenade would be more useful on him. Yeah. Or battle scanner. Actually, let's grab a battle scanner. That might be useful. Are we done? His hit points are kind of low. I'll need to be careful with this guy. If something breathes in his general direction, he will just die. I think we're done. Just one final look. How many flashbang grenades do we have? Not that many. I could replace one medkit with a flashbang grenade. That will still give me three uses of medkits. And I think that's fine. Yeah, okay, let's bring one more flashbang grenade on our medic. The flashbang grenade might save our life. How many flashbangs do we have now? Hmm, only three still. Yeah, that's not fantastic. Not much point bringing flashbang grenade on a gunner now. I could replace alloy plating with flashbang, but I don't like it too much. I could replace one alien grenade with flashbang. That will still give me two alien grenades. Alright, let's do that then. We're ready, let's go. We need the money from this mission. And some promotions. So let's do it. Getting some meld would be nice too. I need a lot of credits right now. Well, especially since I'm in the negatives. Which is really irritating. Okay, I know this map. I don't want to move too much as a result of knowing which map this is. There's not a lot of cover around here. I don't want to trigger any aliens on the first turn. That would be awful. I'm going to move just a little bit and use Overwatch. Just in case some patrol runs into me. And Jeff can move. And then I'll move into cover on the next turn. We might get a patrol. And there might be a group of aliens inside this building. Let's send our scout now. We might see something with this mob. No, okay. That's actually great. Let's move like this. Okay, this is a great start. I already like this. We'll position our gunner here. And sniper can stay right next to the gunner. That's good. I could actually use the battle scanner in this general direction. Yeah, maybe we will see something. Let's find out. Okay, we can see a group. That's nice. I can actually shoot them with my sniper on the next turn. So I don't think I want to move. If I move a little bit closer to these guys, I will probably trigger them. Let's not move. Yes. We'll just use Overwatch. And shoot them on the next turn. They might run into us. Okay, another group. That's unpleasant. No, I don't want to trigger that first group anymore. <laughs> that was a nice hit. Can we kill that? Three reaction shots. Yep. Okay, that's one down. Good start. We got three more floaters. This is a nice target for a rocket launcher, but I don't think I'm close enough. I could potentially be close enough if I mob. I will have a much bigger spread if I mob. And if I mob, I might trigger... That first group? I didn't. So, do we use the rocket launcher? Well, no, I can't really do it anymore. What can we do? We can do something with our gunner, he doesn't need to move. 57, 57, 57 on everything. That's a drone. Yep. Let's try to hit this one, that's 57%. Nice one, he's down. Good start. Where's Jeff? 
Can he move and throw a ling grenade or something like that? Which one is Jeff? Come on, Jeff, where are you hiding? I'm talking to you. Okay, there he is. Let's check the range on this thing. Well, the problem is... I would have to leave him exposed. And I don't like that idea at all. We'll play it safe-ish. And move like this. This is a nice spot. I can use that with my scout. This will also trigger the reaction shots. Like so. So that's a miss. And now we can still shoot something. And get Holotar getting up. I triggered the sec toys, but I guess we'll deal with that. Let's see now. Well, she can't do anything on this turn anymore, but she has full cover. I could take a shot with the sniper. But I don't know. I don't like that too much. I need to dash into cover with these people. I could dash all the way here. But that doesn't look very safe. There's a possibility that I would get flanked. Hmm. Do we take a shot with the sniper? Problem is, he only has 5 hit points. So yeah, if something actually shoots him, he will die, period. He is quite far away. But no, I don't think I want to risk getting him killed. I could run all the way to the back, which might also work. That might be a decent enough idea. That's still not 100% safe. But hopefully it will be far enough. So like this. We got two more people. I do have a flashbang grenade, but I don't think I can actually use it on this turn. I'm pretty sure I can't. I could dash over here with the rookie. That's not a terrible idea. I don't mind losing a rookie. I would prefer not to. But out of all the soldiers here that I can afford losing, the rookie is number one on that list. <laughs> Sorry, rookie. Now, we still got our infantry. I could take two shots. But again, I would have to leave her exposed. There's no cover left over here. I would have to move over here. And dash. I don't have a lot of options. Let's just dash into the building. I really don't see any other option. And now we can use steady weapon. I still got the rocket, but I can't use it for anything useful. I do have suppression. I can also take a regular shot. 59%. I think I prefer to suppress something. That seems more useful in general. Let's suppress the floater closest to my soldiers on the left. Like this. We can still throw a link grenade, but the only thing I can hit with it is the drone. I could probably kill the drone with that grenade, but that's bit of a waste. It feels like a waste. Maybe we can just kill that drone? Almost. We got holo targeting up. We can take one more shot. Would be nice to get rid of that drone. Mostly because drones have holo targeting as well, so... I don't mind the damage the drone does, but I don't like the holo targeting that it will put on one of our soldiers. Well, let's see what's going to happen now. I can use the rocket launcher on my next turn. That's I panic. And we did actually panic. Well, at least she hunkered down. So that's not too bad. I can live with that. That's quite a few aliens. So yeah, this might be interesting. Overwatch. Now we are being suppressed. I don't mind. I will probably use the rocket launcher. And... We're being shot at. I don't think that Rocky will get hit. She's hunkering down behind high cover. So that's plus 90 defense. What's that? Mind fray failed. Okay, so far so good. That's such a juicy target in the middle. So many aliens close to each other. That's the best target for a rocket launcher that I've had in a while. One damage. Are you guys done yet? Yes, I think they are done. Let's open up with the rocket launcher then. So, yes, we can hit almost all of them. Like this. We do have 2.4 scatter range. So, I'll aim roughly right here. Rocket. I mostly want to hit the floaters. Come on. 
Okay, not bad. That was decent enough damage. That was 12 damage total. Pretty good. Could have been slightly better, but it's okay. Could have been worse, too. Now, can we kill all of these floaters? I got Jeff, but I'm not sure he's close enough to actually throw a grenade. I can move my infantry first. And then maybe move Jeff closer. Oh yeah, this might trigger Overwatch, and it will. I should have moved the scout first. That he missed. I'm hoping I'll be able to throw alien grenade from where my infantry was. Right here. So let's see. Yes, we can throw alien grenade. This will kill at least two aliens, I think. Well, let's do it. I want to kill as many as possible. So, rip. Nice one. And he got a promotion. Grass Jeff and the explosion killed the other alien. We killed all of them. Now, can we kill that sectoid? That was mind merging. Possibly. I should probably move. If I don't want to get flanked, I should definitely move. So, can we kill that sectoid? We still got the drone. I could get holo targeting up on the sectoid, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. What can our gunner do? Apparently nothing at all. Okay, what about our sniper? Our sniper can't see the sector on the left. Let's kill that drone then. So that's a kill. Bye. So far so good. We only have two sectoids left. Yeah, surely we can handle that. Famous last words. Not a lot we can do anymore. I could throw a smoke grenade if I really want to. Not much point, but whatever. These people only have partial cover. So I'll just give them the smoke grenade because why not? Better safe than sorry. It's not like I'll use it for anything else in this mission. So there we go. Now we will overwatch and reload because they are low on ammo. Okay, two sectoids can't do a whole lot. They might use Psy Panic or Mind Fray if they can. Or they might try to hit me. That's Mind Fray, I think. One damage. That's fine. Our rookie is still okay. Oh yeah, that's three sectoids. Reaction shot? No. Alright. We lost some meld somewhere, but that's okay. I mostly care about actually not getting killed. So, Gunner. Now he can target two aliens. One on the left, one on the right. Let's get holo targeting up on that one. And maybe we can kill it with our sniper. Our sniper will probably have the highest chance to hit the sectoid on the right side. 57. Not amazing, but we'll take that shot. And that's a miss. Okay. Yes, target's still up. I noticed, but thanks for the update. We could throw another alien grenade. Bit of an overkill. No, I can't throw it far enough. Let's use the infantry then. 37, 52. This one sectored on the left is on overwatch. So yes, I can see that. I could throw flashbang grenade. No. What else can we do? What can a rocketeer do? 54%. That's the only target that we have with the rocketeer. Might as well try. Yep, nice. So we are down to two sectoids on the left side. Let's see, can we guarantee a kill? I could guarantee a kill with the alien grenade. And I think I'll do that. Maybe. Feels like a bit of a waste of alien grenade. I need to move out of the way with this rookie. Yeah, she took way too much damage already. So let's just... Hold on, there's that Overwatch. So I should trigger Overwatch with the Scout first. Yes, I should. We could just dash through Overwatch. That will be even better. But where do I dash? I can't really dash anywhere useful, to be honest. No, not really. I could dash all the way here, but that's a little bit useless. I could try to capture the sectoid, but nah. I don't think that's worth the trouble. How do we do this best? 
I could just get holo targeting up on that one. All right, let's do it like that. Oh, that's a kill. Yeah, I don't mind. Now I could just try to kill this one the old-fashioned way. I can hunker down behind the wall. 37% twice. Let's try that. Maybe we'll hit. And one more time. Come on. Nope. Okay, it was worth a try. Do we have any more shots? We do, with Jeff. Let's not waste a grenade. Oh yeah, I should have used Jeff first. I keep forgetting that he has holo targeting. I'm not used to having holo targeting on engineers. Hunker down. And that's pretty much all we can do on this turn. So yeah, that sectoid really can't do a whole lot. Even if he managed to hit, which was fairly unlikely. If I really wanted to, I suppose I could try to capture that sectoid. I just don't think it's worth the trouble, honestly. Hmm. Well, we do have... Flashbang grenades. And I have some pistols. I could disorient it, and then do some damage with the pistol on the next turn. But I need to disorient it. Alright, let's try it. Not the most useful alien to capture, but I don't have a live sectoid yet, so whatever. We can try. There's a risk that I'm going to get a crit with the pistol, but that's always a risk. Now we will hunker down on everyone. Do not kill it by mistake. Hunker down. I could move closer. A little bit closer. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. He's disoriented, so he has minus 50% chance to hit and minus 80% movement. He might try to run away, which is why I wanted to be slightly closer. Okay, hunker down. Now we could throw a grenade. I just need that grenade to not be too close, because I don't want it to do full damage. I can't really use a pistol anymore. Yeah, we'll have to use a grenade. So let's do it like that. Come on, Jeff. Okay, it needs to be not too close. So like this. That seems reasonable enough. It does up to 7 damage. Okay, let's do it like this. I don't think it will do 4 damage from this far away. Okay, 2 damage, that's good. That's good enough. This should be around 50% chance to capture that sectoid. If I can't capture it, then I'll just kill it, obviously. Let's try it then. So, stun, 49%. This is pretty much a coin flip at this point. And we failed. Alright, we'll just kill it then. I could keep it alive for one more turn. I could disorient it one more time. A sectoid can't do this much damage to a scout. That's just not possible. Seems a little bit excessive for one sectoid. Wait, no, we don't have that promotion that would give us extra charge of the arc thrower. That was a completely different engineer. One of the more experienced engineers. Let's kill it then. Can we even kill that sectoid? Actually, I don't think we can. Alright. Well, that does kind of suck. 1% is low. Yeah, it's hunkering down. I kind of forgot about that part. Alright. We'll use Overwatch. A sectoid can't do 9 damage, even if it crits, but we might kill it. Nope, we didn't get lucky enough. That was with covering fire. So our scout will get hit now. What is he doing? He actually missed, okay. I don't mind. Yeah, shame we don't have another charge of the arc thrower. Oh well, we'll just kill it. So much trouble to try capturing one sectoid. But the mission is done. That was the last alien on the map, so there was no risk involved in trying to capture it. At least no risk of triggering more aliens. What did we get? Nice one. Let's check the promotions then. That's our infantry, so that will be opportunist. That's a no-brainer. Next up, we got our sniper. So, low profile. Next. Jeff. 
Now I might grab the repair on Jeff. I'll need to capture quite a few aliens, and it's pretty hard to do that. The extra arc for recharges are definitely useful. And that would allow me to repair robotic units, so that's not terrible. Alright, let's grab repair on Jeff. And last but not least, our new rookie or our new specialist. 66 aim. I could use some more assaults, so she can be assault. What did we get from this mission? One Elerium, nine meld. Alright, not a bad mission. And 90 credits. We still need to sell some crap to get back into the positives, which kind of sucks. I need to make more laser cannons. We're about to get a satellite. And... I need to get started on another satellite uplink, unless I want to ignore satellite uplinks this month. I don't know. We will get two satellites this month. I might just save up, because that second satellite this month will have to be launched over a new continent. So either Europe or North America. Probably North America. Alright, let's finish the laser cannon real quick. So there it is. I can't make more. And we'll give it to who? We can rename these guys. These guys all have zero kills. This dude has two kills. I could give him laser cannon. He'll be available in two days anyway. So that makes sense. It takes seven days to arm the weapon. What? That's actually pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue the next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.